What's up everybody, Justin here. The Winds of Change is the channel name. That's W-I-N-S, like wins, reason for the channel name. If you make changes, you can get some wins, right? Change your life for the better every day. So, coming to you with another haul video. I'm um, just trying to put stuff up to give you guys an idea of what to look for, what I pick up, what I look for as far as profit margins and that kind of stuff. Not going to be exhaustive. Uh, I'm just going to show you some of the things I have right now ready to go in. Um, I went to a few different stores. Uh, a Bargain Hunt is one. It's sort of like a TJ Maxx, Marshalls kind of deal. Uh, it's actually very, very disorganized. I, I should do a, uh, I should do a, um, uh, like a little video where I bring in my my phone and just show you. It looks like stuff was thrown everywhere, but I got some good stuff from there. Uh, it's, and where else did I go? Um, I think I got some stuff from Myers, which is like a, um, depending on where you're at in the country, they probably don't have them. It's like a grocery store type deal. And I went to oh, Lowe's and uh, Burlington. So I'll just go over some of this stuff. Let me show you here. Let me get this camera and let me show you what, what I got, what I'm getting ready to send in. All right, so if you look, if you look here, here's my little pile. I'm getting ready to send in. Okay, we've got a, a Delta hand towel. We've got a little T spout. Um, up over here, we've got uh, the adjustable locker shelves. Got those in Myers. Was actually surprised to get those up there in the top uh, left. And then I got these Olay facial hair removers. In those bags back there, I have a ton of these plugins. Like you see those plugins right there. I got a ton of them. I'll show you those. Got a, a curling iron, some eye frogs, uh, headphones, some uh, just little uh, Series 2 uh, Pixel Mixies or something. I'm not quite sure what those are called. And if you look back here on the uh, on my chair, um, I picked up some uh, some Levi 501s uh, Slim Fit. Uh, they got the white label on them, and uh, they're $120 uh, retail. I picked them up for 50. I should get about. Uh, I'm, trying, I'm gonna try to get at least 50 to 60 out of them. So let's go over some of this stuff, and, and I'll show you uh, why I picked it up. Some of the uh, stuff I'm most excited about. Um, let's see. Uh, we'll just do this. These eye frogs. Um, now, whenever I see uh, a brand um, that I don't normally pick up, I, I always want to make sure that I can actually sell it, that it's not gated or anything like that. And I'll try to take these out, but it looks like they're taped in there or something, so I'm not going to mess with that. Although I didn't think it was taped in there. I thought I could slide them out last time. There we go. See, it's like a little walrus, and you see how the, how the headphones are actually like the teeth, right? Pretty clever. Anyway, uh, iPhones kids, uh, they have volume limiting for the children, so I guess that your kids don't like blow their eardrums out or something, listening on these little headphones. Pay three dollars each for them, and if I can get good light, I will, yep, get you a little scan there, using Scoutify 2, um, and so if I sell them at $14.93, I should make about uh, six dollars on it, and if you can see, hopefully that uh, uh, scan in there. Let's see. This is Scoutify too. It's through the inventory lab. Oh, almost had it. Inventory lab um, software. There we go. It's a top one percent. It's 176,000 seller ranking in wireless. Um, sell for 14.53. So it's got a decent seller rank, pretty good. Uh, 1453, 916. I paid three, so that's $6.16 profit. And I picked up, oh man, one, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. I picked up twelve of them. So twelve times six is what? Sixty, like seventy-two? Seventy-two bucks. And I spent uh, twelve, twenty-four, thirty-six. So, not bad. Um, Alright. Next we have the little Febreze plugins. Febreze plugins here. Now, I've got to take all the stickers off of these. I got 20 of them. 
Uh, I'm hoping these stickers come off easy. Some of the stickers from this place you can heat gun and they come off real nice. Some of them you heat gun, they come off, then you have to goo gun. I hope I don't have to do all 20 of them. If I do, I might just even just put something over it. I don't know. I don't really care. But $2 is uh, what they're normally for. They're on sale for a dollar. So I picked up uh, 20 of them for a dollar. And they are they are really cheap on Amazon. Let's see if I can get you to zoom in here. Uh, two, two of them come up. Uh, under the UPC, one is um, 722 seller ranking in aromatherapy, fragrance, beauty, and personal care, and then the other one is uh, rank unavailable in wireless. So somebody put it up there on the wrong thing. But uh, here's here's the one that I'm going to use. I'm going to use this listing. So they're selling really quick, and a 734 is what it's selling for, and then 356 back. So every dollar I spend. I get back 356 and so I make make 256 so making 250 on on each one of those um, is going to be nice and that, that price is pretty low so I don't think they're going to get much lower than that so you do 250 right as your profit and then we got it 20 times so about 50 bucks and I spent 20 and I'm going to make a profit 50 so it's like me giving you a 20 dollar bill and you give me back 70 I'll take that um, let's see this Delta thing here, this was actually uh, Lowe's um, on clearance. It was like 12 bucks, and the dude just came around. He marked this down to 8. He marked some lights down. They just came around and marked down a bunch of stuff in everybody's carts. So I've never actually sold uh, anything like this before on Amazon. So I'm sort of interested to see how to do it. For one, I'm hoping it would fit in a medium Home Depot box because that's what I'm sending everything else in. So it looks like it might be close. Uh, to fitting. Uh, I'll just scan it real quick. So uh, I paid uh, $8 for it and it's top 1% in home improvement at 26000 and it sells for looks like uh, $27. Um, so yeah, may have not been a great deal uh, because you get that twelve fifty four minus the uh, the 8 that I paid for it. So it's like making $4. I don't know if it's going to zoom in or not on there, but it should sell, I don't know, there we go, it should sell fairly quick. Um, but looking back, I probably wouldn't pick this up, you know, that something that big for four bucks. Right. I'll show you two more things. These are adjustable locker shelves. Um, I was in Myers. As a matter of fact, I had to go uh, do something after, after work. Um, and so after that, I was past my normal post office, I had to drop off my eBay packages, so I dropped, I couldn't drop them off my normal one, so I just Googled post office near me, and there's one in Myers, so it's like a grocery store type deal, I stopped in, but this one, it was actually pretty big, it had toys and, and everything, and so I looked at the toys, electronics, some other stuff, and I said, well, when I leave, I'll just walk by the back aisle, because a lot of times back aisles, end caps, they discount stuff, so I came across these, I paid uh, $4 for these, and I forget what they were selling for. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's a top 1% again, an office product. It's uh, 10,000 seller ranking. If I sell it at 1583, which all the new ones that are uh, not FBA are like 27, 28. Uh, FBA uh, is $15, almost 16. Uh, Amazon is not a seller. And so if you look at those, I spent four on them and if I sell for 15, I'm going to get 8.75 back. So that's essentially a little bit more than double my money. And I picked up all that they had, which was five. Um, I'll just show you one more thing. Uh, these right here, um, these I've sold a ton of these. They are like a facial hair remover. Now the tricky thing about these is you have to watch out for this. When you scan, when you scan the UPC, it comes up this product, but it comes up a different a different type. So for example, this is uh, medium to coarse hair removal, right? And so the UPC comes up like fine to medium. So you got to look it up by the name of it. Well, the name of it brings up three different items that are all medium to coarse of this thing. Um, the interesting thing about that is some of them you will put in. I think one was like. 
11,000 seller ranking and you didn't have to put the expiration date. One was 4,000 seller ranking with like 1,200 reviews and you did have to put the expiration date. The thing about this is, is there is no expiration date. Call it Amazon seller support. There's actually a case opened up with them right now um, to mark this one. They're looking into whether or not this needs an expiration date. Uh, the regulations of the, of, of the, um, uh, of the government, whatever government agency it is that regulates these, uh, only requires you to put expiration dates on something that uh, lasts 30 months and shorter. Okay, you can go on to Olay.com and there's imprinted into a bot into the bottom of the box here. There's an imprint which is like their batch number. You can put that in and see when they were made. So say these were made in like uh, they were made in like 2016, 2017, something like that, and it says, you know, these uh, are expected to. Um, be as intended for like two to three years or something like that and then it says they can still be used after that it's safe and everything blah 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 so there's no expiration date on it talking to Amazon seller support was it was horrendous I was on the phone with him forever the guy didn't speak good English and so it's like he would give me scripted answers and I'd be like man you're telling me the same you tell me yes and you tell me no and I'm asking you the same exact question I was I was really frustrated but anyway they elevated it and so it's been like three weeks ago and I've gotten like two emails that said that they're working on it. But I don't know. I just type it in. I put in the expiration date of three years past when the batch was because that's what that's what Ole says even though they are they don't have an expiration date on these things anywhere. Um, but they've been, they've been selling pretty quick and I haven't had any, um, any, any returns or any complaints or anything like that. Uh, $12 selling for $38. 36 to 38 it's about a 16 to 18 dollar profit um, so I picked up 30 of these so that's that's a pretty good score if I could buy uh, these stuff like this all day and in big quantities like that I would do it alright so there's a few things that I picked up um, I do have those jeans back there but uh, I will I'll show you I'll show you guys those later maybe in, a, in another haul video or something if I don't have them listed yet because uh, I gotta get this stuff listed gotta get the stickers off get it boxed up get it Add it into inventory and get it shipped out by today. Uh, that's my goal. So uh, that's what I'm going to be doing. And thanks for watching. Uh, if you like the video, leave a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram. Um, almost, I need a thousand subscribers is my goal. I'm at like 760 or 780 or something like that. So I'm going to keep trying to, to put out content to get people you know, uh, to, to get people to notice and to see uh, my channel and to see uh, what I'm about here on this channel, which is uh, wanting to help you guys make changes in your life uh, to make you a little bit more money um, or just to find out what to resell if you're already looking at reselling retail arbitrage, lifting, stuff like that. So uh, glad you checked out the video. Don't forget, uh, like, share, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later.